Trips like this to the family physician are becoming more difficult for a growing number of Americans. Studies show we're running out of doctors and could be 124,000 short in just 15 years, especially family doctors like Geraldine Erse, who is busier than ever. Our volume has obviously increased. We see a lot more patients today than we did ever uh, in the past. Part of the problem is fewer medical students are choosing to go into family practice thanks to high debt from school and lower pay on the job. Nationally, fewer than 7% of students choose to go into family medicine. But that's not the case at Ohio University's College of Osteopathic Medicine. Here, 36% of graduates, or five times the national average, are family practice physicians. Ohio University College of Osteopathic Medicine has the highest rate of physicians going into primary care of any of the medical schools in Ohio. We also have the highest rate of physicians who stay in practice in Ohio. And OU's program just got considerably stronger. The Osteopathic Heritage Foundations will give 100 five million dollars to the college money that will help build an extension of OU's medical school in Columbus by 2014 to train more primary care doctors access to medical care is an issue problem in our areas the impending shortage of physicians especially primary care physicians is an issue we felt that Ohio University and its College of Osteopathic Medicine specifically were in a best position to facilitate addressing these issues. The money will also help with another urgent health issue, the treatment and research of diabetes at the Athens campus. Given all the pressing problems we're facing in medicine, OU administrators say the award couldn't have come at a better time. At Ohio University's College of Osteopathic Medicine, this is Clark Powell reporting.